Good morning. I am Vedraj, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMD Engineering College. Today's class, we are going to discussing about the second object-oriented methodology, such as Booch methodology. What is Booch methodology? The Booch methodology is a widely used object-oriented method that helps to design a system using object paradigm. It covers analysis and design phase of object-oriented system. The Booch method consists of uh, different diagrams, class diagram, object diagram, straight transition diagram, module diagram, process diagram, and interaction diagram. These diagrams are introduced by the Booch. What is class diagram? It describes the roles and responsibilities of object. Object diagram describes the behavior of system in terms of scenario. Right, the state transition diagram it describes the state and event of the system. The model diagram to map out where each class and object should be declared. The process diagram it's mainly used to determine which process to allocate a process. Interaction diagram describe the behavior of system in terms of scenario. Okay, these are the various diagram introduced by the Butch. Next, very important, the Booch methodology uh, consists of two different development process. Okay, one is the macro development process. The Booch methodology described macro development process and micro development process. The first we are going to discussing about the macro development process. What do you mean by macro development process? The macro process serves as a controlling framework for micro process. It can take a week or even a month. The primary concern of micro process is Student, please underline this point. The primary concern of macro process is technical management of the system. The macro process, the traditional phases of analysis and design to a large extent are preserved. Okay, so the macro development process consists of um, various uh, steps. Okay, the first step is conceptualization very important the second phase is analysis and development of architecture the third one is design or create the system architecture fourth one is evaluation or implementation fifth one is maintenance okay so now we are going to discuss one by one what do you mean by conceptualization see during conceptualization you can establish the core requirement of the system okay you establish a system of goal and develop the prototype to prove the concept okay so during the concept conceptualization we are establish the core requirement of the system the second phase is second step is analysis and development of architecture in this step we can use the class diagram to describe the roles and responsibility of object are to be carried out in performing okay just we are describing the roles and responsibilities of object the third one is design or create the system architecture just we are creating the system architecture okay so in this step we are creating we are or we are focusing only the uh, creation of system architecture okay next one is evaluation or implementation okay so in this phase students very important in this phase implementation plan is decided okay implementation plan then the design is converted into programming construct okay maintenance the last step is maintenance okay the product is delivered to the customer okay so these are the very important steps of uh, macro development process okay so very important what do you mean by macro development process see in macro development process which controlling the framework for micro process the second important point it the primary concern of macro development process is 
technical management of the system the second development process is micro development process see the micro development process is a description of day to day activities by the single or small group software development okay it consists of five steps okay we will discuss this micro development okay this micro development process actually this diagram can capture the state of the class beta based on the stimulus for example um, in this case uh, the micro development process consists of various phases the first phase is called as the um, identify classes and object okay just we are identifying the what are the classes and objects are needed to construct to develop the software the second step is identify the class and object semantics the third step is we are finding the relationship between the class and objects then identify the class and object interface and implementation okay these are the various steps involved in bootch methodologies okay so every macro process as its own micro development process okay this is very important okay so there are two different types of uh, macro uh, development process supported by bootch one is the macro development process the technical management of a uh, uh, system okay so micro development process the day to day activities by the single uh, or small group software developer system thank you students